Hello everybody, to Blisby here from the Skill Builder channel, back with a very quick Ask Skill Builder. This one is to do with rendering and it comes from Richard Wayne. Richard's got a little question. He's picking up on a point I made about rendering and he's been told that you shouldn't put concrete on brickwork because it retains the moisture. And I think what he means when he says concrete, he's, he's thinking about sand and cement and he's got a good point. So let's just have a look at his picture if we can. Now, this is the sort of picture that gladdens the heart, isn't it? A lovely old building somewhere in Italy, I would guess. If you've got a building like that, you can see just on the corner here that they've used some render and that looks like a sand and cement render and it's all cracked away. And of course, it will crack away on buildings of this type because You've got, I think you've got probably got a mixture of brick there. You might have a bit of stone going in there. You've got all kinds of things going on. And if you're going to render a structure like that, you don't want a really strong render that won't move and won't allow for a little bit of give in the building. And also, you need to release the moisture. So you don't want to be putting on a really strong sand and cement mix onto that. And the water gets behind it, gets trapped in there, and it starts to blow the render. Off. Even if you don't get frost, this might be in a part of the world where they rarely get the frost or any kind of cold weather, who knows? But just as a general principle, the best thing you can do is, is to use a nice lime render on this building. The great thing about lime is that it is self-healing, it's autogenous, which means that if you look at stalactite, stalagmites, the way that the water dissolves the lime and then reforms, so you get things which are really quite hard rock but they've actually just been dissolved in the water. The acid in the water, if there's any acid in the water, dissolves the lime and it reconstitutes it as it drips down and so on. So when you've got a lime wall, you've got a lime structure, and if there are any cracks that open up, then the water gets into those cracks, dissolves a little bit of the lime, and the lime kind of fills the cracks up. It's the most magical process going. It means that it will take care of a lot of problems. But the other problem it takes care of, of course, is if this was a solid wall, there's no cavity in it, and you really need to make sure that that moisture can evaporate out of that wall. The lime is a great thing to do that. Once you've once you've put that on, that sand and lime mix, you can buy it bagged you can do a bagged render mix which is a great thing and you can also get those colored or you can mix up your own sand and lime mortar and have it applied it takes a bit longer to do but it's a lovely lovely process you know you can see there's got a bit of repair work to be done there there's a bit of detailing a bit of molding around there but all these things are doable in the hands of a skilled plasterer i'd love to get hold of a place like that and do it up it's probably a folly really because it probably take you longer to do than you know you probably need to just get some people in there to do it rather than struggling for year after year but no a great project that's the answer to it is that putting sand and cement onto brickwork strong sand and cement is never a good idea if you are going to do it with sand and cement i wouldn't recommend it in this case but if you are going to do it with sand and cement you can still use lime but you use a different type of lime the thing is there's hydrated lime and there's hydraulic lime and the hydraulic lime it takes days and days to set so you put it on and you just leave it and it will set eventually it sets in contact with air it's kind of cured if you like but if it's hydrated lime that will never go off on its own it needs a little bit of something to help it and that's something we tend to use is cement which just allows it to set again it still takes a little bit of time to set but if you go and buy hydrated lime from your builders merchants you put one shovel full of hydrated lime in you put one shovel full of cement in and you put about six shovelfuls of sand in something like that mix the whole thing up to a beautiful creamy mix and you get some of the properties of a hydraulic lime mix without having to wait forever and of course the other problem with getting hold of hydraulic lime is that it's not stopped by merchants you have to buy it special order in buy the pallet load or if you get a bag in it's horrendously expensive something like 25 quid for one bag because it's got all the shipping costs on it and everything else so bit of a problem you know there are places on the internet to get it but getting it at a reasonable price is quite difficult unless you're buying a pallet load so i hope that helps that's answered that little question and if you've got a question uh send it in here's the details of where you can send it into on the screen you simply drop your pictures onto there along with your question and uh, we do the rest so come back and see us soon we've got a lot more coming up on skill builder we might even get a bit of work done soon